All right, you have found it. It is the Valley's most in-depth, detailed, geeky weather forecast video, Weather for Weather Geeks, July the 16th. The severe weather threat today? Uh, pretty underwhelming, I would say. Uh, we were under a slight risk of severe weather put out by the Storm Prediction Center, kind of a 2 on a 1 to 5 scale. A severe thunderstorm watch was issued early on this afternoon, and most of our showers and storms have been fairly garden variety, with one exception. We had a big beefy storm in Mercer County earlier on, but all in all, this was uh, kind of an underwhelming day in our region when it comes to the intensity of thunderstorms. A couple of things happened. We had some clouds and a little bit of rain this morning that probably helped to stabilize the lower atmosphere a little bit. We also had a layer of slightly warmer air aloft that prevented storms from rising too fast, the air parcels from rising too fast, and storms from getting too tall. Uh, that was observed on a special uh, weather balloon launch. Uh, from the uh, weather service in Pittsburgh today where they sampled the midday atmosphere and found a little layer of of warmer air uh, at, a, at a level of the atmosphere that's critical for a big severe weather day. And also the, the best upper level support for storms, uh, not to get too deep into the really hardcore meteorology, but a lot of that started lifting to the north and east by midday, so things didn't time just right. If that best upper level support was over us during the middle of the afternoon, we might have had a bigger day today. All right, recording this at 6.30 this evening. A couple of thunderstorms along the state line, northeastern uh, Trumbull, northwestern Mercer, around uh, Greenville, uh, and a couple of showers here and there elsewhere, but uh, generally no big deal as far as the intensity goes. The big storm that rolled across Mercer County earlier did have a severe thunderstorm warning on it for a while. Big lightning show. Lots of wind with this. I haven't seen any reports of damage from Mercer County. If you have anything to pass along, make sure you let me know on social media. Send us an email, uh, weather at wfmj.com, um, weather picks, P-I-C-S, if you have any pictures you want to send along. But yeah, this was a doozy of a storm uh, that uh, pushed out of northeastern Mercer County a little before 6 o'clock. We have seen some uh, reports called into the Pittsburgh Weather Service Office of wind damage in the northern suburbs of Pittsburgh and heading up into parts of uh, Butler County as well. Where have the spinners been today? They've been in southwest New York, and I hinted at this some on social media and on my early morning video today that uh, probably the highest tornado risk overall was going to be to our north and east. And yeah, we've seen some rotating storms up here in parts of southwest New York. And just now uh, they discontinued a tornado warning for uh, the uh, Interstate 86 corridor. Uh, this is south and west of the Finger Lakes and south of Buffalo. Um, but uh, still a little weak rotation observed up there. The Weather Service has been chopping away at the western edge of the severe thunderstorm watch. This watch technically in effect until 9, but I think you're going to see a big part of this uh, of this watch box chopped in the next hour or so. So I would expect our television viewing area to be out of the severe thunderstorm watch, uh, I would guess, by 7.30 at the latest. Um, again, technically runs till 9, but they'll continue chopping away at this because the severe weather risk appears to be diminishing rather quickly and really didn't materialize in, in a lot of spots. Boy, is it muggy, though. Talked about how this Florida Lake air mass will be pushing in, and dew points this evening are in the soupy lower 70s. Now, the dew points are starting to back off some to our north and west, and this air mass will try to filter in tomorrow, so while it's not exactly going to be a crisp late September day tomorrow, instead of the lower 70s, dew points might mix down into the lower 60s by the end of the afternoon tomorrow, as this somewhat drier air in the upper Midwest starts sliding on to the south and east. All right, it's Thursday, so we got an update on the drought monitor today. With the recent rains, they did chop some of our region out of the abnormally dry category. Some of the area was left in it. Uh, some brown yards certainly still out there, and uh, we're still running some deficits for the summer season. I'm expecting uh, some relief if your yard's a little too brown. Uh, some relief in the coming pattern next week looks a little more unsettled with several chances of randomly placed summertime showers and thunderstorms. All right, again, tomorrow's a pretty quiet day. An increase in sunshine after some early morning cloudiness gets out of the way. Clear sky tomorrow night. Good uh, comet viewing tomorrow evening. And then Saturday, uh, intense sunshine is what I've been calling this because with highs in the lower 90s and not much in the way of a breeze, and well, it's just going to be a great pool day, that's for sure, on Saturday. With this warm front pushing in on Sunday, there's really no temperature change with this, but there is a dew point change and so it should be more humid by Sunday afternoon. Another one of these weak fronts will approach, and maybe there's a shower or a thunderstorm in the afternoon. So weekend forecast shaping up like this. We'll do 92 both days. 
Uh, I'm not going to be shocked if uh, 93 or 94 is achievable um, one of these days over the weekend. I suspect Sunday probably feels a little worse than Saturday, even though it might be a little bit cloudier. It's going to be more humid Sunday afternoon. Dew points, again, spiking Sunday, continuing into Monday. Might back off some on Tuesday, but uh, boy, overall next week just looks like dog days of summer. Plenty of heat, humidity, daily thunderstorm chances, so the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook uh, shows decent odds of uh, above average precipitation in a lot of the uh, upper Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and into the Northeast as well. And uh, Noah put out their initial uh, August forecast today. Let me see if I can grab that for you real quickly here. Bear with me. I thought I grabbed it. Yeah, I did grab it. Um, let me move my recording window up so you can actually see this. Can I do that? Uh, maybe I can't do that. But nonetheless, up in the corner of your screen, uh, you can see that we're in the orange for August. And so their initial August outlook would suggest that, yes, we will be warmer than average. And we should make it three for three in the uh, uh, meteorological summer months this year as far as temperatures go. All right. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks this evening. Have a great rest of your Thursday night. I'll see you back here on Friday.